Hey, so um, an area of the motorhome I never really show very much is the cockpit. So I thought I'd just go over that with you guys. I haven't really done too much to it, but um, this is what she looks like. Nice LED lightings. So when you're sitting in driving position, this is good for the makeup. Hey! <laughs> yes, there's one for the girls too. Now, this seat I usually leave turned around for the most part. If I'm going on a long trip with somebody, I'll, uh, I'll flip it around and behind that seat is usually just storage, as is the case with a lot of people in their RVs and vans. So, um, I haven't done too much to this uh, other than the phone mount uh, and um, the subwoofer installation, uh, the control right here. This guy here. Or I'll just put it right That's pretty much rocking, uh, rocking the van right now. The walls are vibrating. I actually keep that down for the most part. Uh, I have all my music Bluetooth usually off my phone. Sometimes I stream internet radio. Uh, but for the most part, it's just off the phone. The phone also is connected to the stereo. It's pretty common these days. Even with a cheap cheap deck, like even $150 or hundred, even I've even seen them on sale for about a hundred bucks, a cheap CD deck has Bluetooth calling uh, built in these days. So that would be this guy right here. That's the microphone for calling. So uh, when a call comes in, uh, it just goes through the, through the speakers and you just keep on driving. You don't really have to, uh, you don't really have to do anything except press answer on the screen. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Antler van, tis the season. Uh, the dash, okay, so I've also put this in here. You can see that it's um, got a, a nice brushed aluminum custom cover over the, uh, over the gauges. That I found on eBay. I just went, um, I was just doing searching for accessories to spruce up the interior a little bit. I was looking at all sorts of dash kits. I was thinking of doing it in the wood grain and all that, but I decided, no, I'm not gonna bother. Nothing in this motorhome is really wood grain. Everything is white cabinetry, black carpet. You know, it's all a little bit more modern looking, so I decided not to not to do the wood grain, but I found these for 20 bucks off eBay. And you know, they make them for all sorts of vehicles, and sure enough, they make them for the Ram vans. Um, they're all like laser cut. They're not a perfect fit, like my odometer over here on the left. The odometer doesn't quite fit in, but apparently the next year of the Dodge Ram vans, after this year, 1999, they moved that odometer up just a little bit. So that's, I guess, what it was cut for. But other than that, there's really no differences. From uh, 1998 to 2003, they had the same dash for the most part. Uh, over here, Explorer put in this. This is actually power for the stereo. Now, most motorhomes will have the stereo connected to the uh, house battery, not the starting battery, which is a good thing because when you're parked and you're camping or you're living in it, you, you wanna use your radio all the time, so you don't wanna be killing your front battery. Now I have seen a couple that didn't have that and I bought one once that did not have it hooked up like that. So that was w one of the first things I did was I disconnected the stereo from the front battery and ran a wire from the back battery so that it's, it's always on, literally it's always on. There is an off switch it actually just shuts off the power or you can switch it to the engine battery just like that. So if you, it, it'll only work if the engine's running. But I usually just leave it always on, on the house. It's just always on and I have a remote control for the stereo so when I'm back in the bedroom, I can shut it off that way or play with the volume and all the rest of that. Plus I use my phone to control the music and the volume as well. So you don't really need to have two stereos. I am thinking about putting a second one in the bedroom with a couple little speakers just for the TV purposes and then also I wouldn't have to... Uh, uh, here, here's one thing when you're stealth camping and you have the stereo up front here. At nighttime, even with the curtains pulled, like so, okay, the stereo is behind the curtain unless you try to tuck it around like that and it, it just... It, it looks obvious from the outside and you can see the light coming off the stereo even if you turn the dimmer down on it. So if people are walking by outside or if they happen to look in the front windows, they can tell your radio is on. And that's something that bothers me. If you're, if you're trying to stealth camp, you don't want that to be showing. Quite often I, I sleep all night with the radio on low and um, so you'll see that little glowing coming from the dashboard which is kind of probably not a good thing depending on where you're gonna be parking. Uh, so I might put a second radio in the back just because they're they're so cheap and uh, then it will uh, it will just be running off a couple speakers in the back It won't be connected to the subwoofer or anything like that um, 
Yeah, curtains are great. That's how Explorer made these. They had these little things to throw the curtains up on each side. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I just tie them up on the wall. Uh, the other thing I bought is these, the good old window visors. Um, where are my keys? Oh, I keep doing that. Okay. There. Okay, so I usually leave the windows right about there, and even when it's raining, even when it's pouring rain out, uh, you have good ventilation, and uh, none of the rain gets in. These, of course, you see quite common on a lot of newer vehicles, and for vans, uh, they are available. Just look, just search online for window visors, and then put in the model of uh, van you have, and you'll find them. Uh, they have some that stick on, like these ones. They're just stuck on with um, uh, that 3M. Um, Basically, it's that 3M butyl tape, and they've been on there since about July. But I found some really expensive ones. These were only like 20 bucks. Again, clearance off some eBay site. Oh, a lot of stuff for these Ram vans are, are just discontinued, and the warehouses are just trying to get rid of the stock because they don't make it anymore. So you can find some good deals on eBay. But I also found some other ones. They're sitting in the back right now in case these ones ever fall off or break or anything like that. Uh, that actually fit into the track. They're permanent installation. They don't just stick on on the outside. So they're a, they're a lot better quality. So I've got backups if these ones ever go. But you can see what it looks like there, right? Now the other advantage is you can leave the windows down a touch and nobody can tell the windows are down as they walk by outside. So it's, it's, it's actually a really good thing. Worth every penny though, especially if you're driving too and on a rainy day like this and uh, you want ventilation uh, They make a huge difference. I think all cars should have those Honestly power mirrors Door locks power windows. These are towing mirror extensions um, The Dodge Ram van mirrors are the same as the Dodge Ram pickup trucks and the Dodge Durango's had uh, from this era 1998 to 2003 so basically any accessories for mirrors for the trucks or, or um, Durango's will fit on here and that's one thing you're gonna notice if you have a Ram van is that you're probably not gonna find much if you if you search Ram van because they didn't make much uh, aftermarket stuff for these things uh, again unless you're lucky and you find something like like this but for a lot of things like that you have to search Ram pickup or you have to search Durango to find the accessories and um, and then you'll be able to find stuff that works so those just clip on they're for towing but this is a wide body and I they actually help me a lot uh, I can see kind of around the back you see the side of my vans tapers out it widens out in the middle and then goes around the back so I can actually see around the back of my vehicle sometimes there's small cars behind me and uh, if I didn't have those I wouldn't actually know that they're behind me uh, so they make a difference. Also, it keeps people a little bit farther away from me, especially those pesky cyclists. They see my mirrors and they got a duck or they lose their head, basically. <laughs> it just, uh, it, it just, I don't know. I like the extra, if, if they get hit, so what? They're just plastic, right? And they're breakaway mirrors too, so the whole mirror can slide out, slide back in. I have had this one hit a couple of times, parked on the, on the side of the road, uh, but they just bend out and then you just bend it back. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll pull it in if I'm on a narrow street. Uh, now, Outside of the cockpit is the bug deflector. Again, really hard to find except for some leftover stock. Um, but that protects your hood from dings and bugs and all sorts of stuff. And it looks cool too. The front grill, dead stock. Oh, look at that poor bug in there. These are from Lund. You quite often see these on pickup trucks. Well, I happened to find them for Ram Van, and again, they were discontinued. And I got a hell of a deal on them. eBay. Adds a little style to the front, and it protects your radiator from bugs a little more. And no, it doesn't overheat in the summer, by the way. It's, it's totally fine. Most of the airflow uh, to these vehicles comes from the two holes under the bumper, um, and a bit through the grill as well. So there was no problem with air restriction or anything like that. I did a lot of summer driving, and. 40 degree weather, it was really hot, so. That is the dash cam. Uh, I'm not really using it, but it works. I just have a piece of Velcro stuck on there so I can put the GoPro on there and do videos. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is where the rear view mirror would be if you didn't have a motorhome. Uh, there is the stripper, the Palm Bay hula girl. 
and all the cool vans. Look at that. Area 51 van, Scooby-Doo van. <laughs> you know I love my vans. So this is the tour of the cockpit. Hope you guys liked. Talk to you soon. Keep on rocking in the free world. Hey, so what do you think of van life? Van life is awesome. Oh,